Think Windows 11 can't get any lighter? Think again. Hi, I'm Neil from HT. Tiny 11 Lite takes everything great about Tiny 11 and strips it down to the essentials. Built on the latest 25H2, it's fully stable with no expiry. The result? The lightest, fastest Windows 11 you'll ever run. The default Windows 11 start menu is full of clutter and apps you'll probably never touch. Tiny 11 starts completely clean, letting you choose exactly what appears on your start menu. Tiny 11 Lite goes even further. Zero pinned apps out of the box. While stock Windows comes with nearly 50 pre-installed apps, Tiny 11 Lite comes with none, giving you a truly minimal and distraction-free experience. Next, we're testing boot time. I'll restart the system, start the stopwatch, and measure exactly how long it takes to reach the desktop. This test is shown in real time. No fast forward tricks, so you see the actual results. Stock Windows 11 runs a lot of background processes, which take extra time to shut down and start up again. All that overhead slows things down compared to a lean, minimal build. In this run, a standard Windows 11 restart completes in about 30.26 seconds. Now let's test boot time on Tiny11 using the same method shown in real time with no speedups. This restart is noticeably faster since there's no telemetry or Microsoft bloat running in the background. Tiny11 finishes in just 26.07 seconds, about 4 seconds faster than stock Windows 11. 4 seconds might not sound like much, but on older or slower drives, that gap can grow into minutes saved, making a real difference in daily use. Tiny11 Lite takes boot times even further, completing in just 24.22 seconds, pure speed. These numbers are from my PC, but the ratios stay the same. Tiny 11 beats, Windows 11, and Tiny 11 Lite beats both. Some say, my Windows 11 boots in 10 seconds. With Tiny 11, that could drop to eight seconds, and Tiny 11 Lite could push it down to around six or seven seconds. Even small improvements like this add up, especially on older or slower drives. Now let's look at RAM usage. On stock Windows 11, idle RAM sits around 2.4 gigabytes out of four, and that's without updates running. With updates, it can easily hit three or more. Tiny 11 cuts that down to a stable 1.5 gigabytes, and Tiny 11 Lite takes it even lower, using just 1.2 gigabytes. And yes, we'll test the famous 256 megabytes RAM setup at the end of this video. But if you want the best all-around performance on your PC today, there's no better time to try Velotic than right now. Velotic is built for people who demand performance. It doesn't just raise FPS, it optimizes your entire PC. CPU and GPU settings are tuned automatically, junk files are removed the moment they appear, and hidden slowdowns are fixed in real time. With 500 plus advanced tweaks, you control every part of your system. Debloat windows in one click, install apps instantly, Unlock hidden hardware features and manage power plans for maximum speed. Even storage issues are solved. Velotic compresses files safely, freeing up to 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick hack or a free cleaner. Velotic has been engineered over three years, tested by thousands and updated constantly. At just $19.99, it's a one-time purchase that pays itself back every time your PC runs faster, smoother, and cleaner. If you want your system to run at full potential, without effort, Velotic delivers. Next, let's check storage usage. Stock Windows 11 takes up around 20 gigabytes fresh out of the box, and with updates or hibernation, that can easily reach 40 to 50 gigabytes. Tiny 11 slashes it down to just 6.7 gigabytes, and Tiny 11 Lite trims it slightly more to 6.5 gigabytes. The difference might not seem huge, but keep in mind, going lighter than this would actually hurt performance and stability rather than improve it. This is the sweet spot, minimal storage usage without sacrificing speed or reliability. With all of Windows 11's telemetry and advertising services running, you're looking at 153 processes, 2,100 threads, and over 66,000 handles, far too much for any system to manage efficiently. Tiny 11 cuts that down dramatically to 104 processes, 1,100 threads, and just 36,000 handles. 
and Tiny 11 Lite, the ultimate minimal build, goes even further, running around 84 processes, 871 threads, and only 21,000 handles. This reduction not only improves performance, but also keeps your system running cleaner and more responsive. If you're wondering where to safely download the latest Tiny 11 or Tiny 11 Lite, I've linked the official how to install video in the description. Now it's time for some serious benchmarking. A full stress test using Geekbench 6. This test normally takes about five minutes, so I've sped up the footage to save time. First, we check Windows 11, hoping automatic updates don't interfere. Even so, Windows 11 scores 2,352 in single core and 5,853 in multi-core, which is clearly underwhelming. You'll see why once we run the same test on a leaner system. By the way, in case you're wondering who I am, I'm the original creator of Tiny 11, first released in 2021, long before NT Dev appeared in 2023. I've spent years building production grade, de-bloated systems and performance boosters for enthusiasts and professionals, not casual users. Next, Tiny 11 scores 2,461 single core and 6,667 multi-core, showing a solid improvement over stock Windows 11. So what's the difference between Tiny 11 and Tiny 11 Lite? Tiny 11 Lite skips the Microsoft Store, Updates, and Defender for ultimate minimalism. Tiny 11 keeps them, though you can toggle them on or off. And now, Tiny 11 Lite blows both away, scoring 2,503 single core and 6,871 multi-core. In terms of the perfect balance between performance and stability, Tiny 11 Lite is unmatched, fast, lean, and fully optimized for serious use. As promised, we're putting Tiny 11 to the ultimate test, running it on just 256 megabytes of RAM, less than what most PCs from the 1990s had. This is our release standard. If Tiny 11 can't boot on 256 megabytes, it doesn't meet HT and Apitus quality, and failing builds are immediately dropped. Here, you can see it boots without any issues. In the past, this test would fail at resolutions above 800 by 600. With Tiny 11, we're not just booting, we're running it at full 1080p. Imagine a full HD monitor running Windows 11 on only 256 megabytes RAM. It won't be lightning fast, of course, but it's fully usable. Looking in Task Manager, you can see even lower process counts and minimal RAM usage, optimized for these low-spec systems. So the test is complete, and the promise is kept. Tiny 11 passes the 256 megabyte challenge with flying colors. Here's a quick recap. Tiny 11 includes Windows updates, Defender, and Microsoft Store. Tiny 11 Lite skips them for maximum performance. Neither has bloat, and both run games great, but Tiny 11 Lite is faster on low-end PCs. Tiny 11 supports more apps, while Lite focuses purely on speed. Storage? Tiny 11 takes around 7 gigabytes. Lite, about 5 gigabytes, both support drivers, browsing, and Windows subsystem. So, Tiny 11 is for stable, everyday use. Tiny 11 Lite is for minimalists and gamers who want raw performance. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Harbor of Tech signing off.